clusters with solar systems. Good job, Shepard. Oh. Thanks to you, the Consul's finally taking real action against Seren. The Ambassador That's is correct. Echoing if really Saren loud. is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. <coughs> if Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. That will give me and much option I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't okay. willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. <laughs> you son Nobody of a bitch. Me in the back of the <laughs> Nobody. <coughs> I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. <coughs> Why am I back in the ship? I want to find stuff to buy. I hate being right. I thought they'd listen. That they'd see. You're an optimist, Skipper. Times like this, I'm glad I'm not. The Council's used to being the biggest kid on the playground. I don't want to believe Daddy's going to pick them up. And eat them, I guess. I don't care if I have to go to President Huerta. I won't sit back and wait for the, the Reapers to start killing President me. President Huerta? Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. All right. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I've had a hell of a time figuring you out, but I think I have. I want you to be happy, too. You better. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Sounds important. You'd better go. Equalizing <laughs> interior pressure. Renegade plus two. Atmosphere. <laughs> Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Oh. 
Who is that Exo Presley guy? He doesn't seem to do anything. Guess we're going this way. <clears throat> Exogeny officials have announced that their research colony on Pharos is being shut down. Difficult living conditions, combined with poor yield of viable discoveries, made it economically unfeasible to keep the colony going. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. They're pleased? What? I should check the journal. Um, thank you, but where am I supposed to be going? Commander Shepard? Kalisa been seen in Aljalani, Western Lin News. Would you answer a few <coughs> questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? I try to keep in mind that it's just another form of duty. I still wear a uniform. But there's a difference between protecting human interests and citadel interests. Have you encountered any situations where the citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? <laughs> Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. Speaking of your new job, did the Council order you to sabotage human research concern on Novaria? Novaria? I'm afraid I can't discuss the details of my missions. So you were there on a mission from the Council? That's very interesting. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? Respect's a funny thing. People always assume.